You work out. Say good morning. <laughs> I cannot. You cannot? So, hi guys. Uh, today we, we, sh we like to show you the massage, but this is not like ordinary massage, it's more like the healing massage it's like a tradition like that in the philippines actually marika should talk about this because she she know more <laughs> but she don't she, disturb she want to start so so basically you know this is not like the for example this you, you take in the massage salon the the swedish massage uh, and they do some kind of pattern, yeah. It's always what? This is a Swedish massage, but this is Filipino massage. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, what's the difference? So, what's the difference? don't disturb me, okay? <laughs> so, the, and they follow like the pattern, yeah. And depends of the therapy. Sometimes it's better, some sometimes worse. But the the healing massage, it's it's more about you can see. Uh, like the the Ate here, she she touch some place and, and and she feel under her fingers where is like more tensions, you know, in the muscles, and 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 then she work in that place is more. Yeah. There is also like a pattern, yeah, following the the whole body, but but she always focus on the places where where is more tension and and the real problem, yeah. So. So that's for sure, you know, it's better in my opinion. And, and you know, Ate is maybe tiny, but the hands are so strong. She uses like the healing oil. So this is like, I think mixture. Oil with the alcohol, yeah? And some herbs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like that. So, but Marikar don't like it because she said it's too hot for her body. So, so we're using yeah, like just coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too hot for this, guys. Mm, she's too hot. Oh, sorry. What, babe? She's having gas in the chair. Gassy? Gassy? <laughs> like bloated? Yeah, mm. Now, for the chan? Mm. Normally, for example, the kids, mm. like sick, for example, like Anton, we normally don't take right, like right away in the hospital. We first take to the hilo mm -hmm. because sometimes you know, like they have pain in somebody, they will hilo and tomorrow they are better. You know, mm -hmm. my colleagues when she when he was a baby, we used to go to use like that. My sister kids and Anya, you know, Anya daughters also. Take for of course, and, and you know, Hilo is always cheaper than the hospital. Yeah, mm. if you go to hospital, it's like money mm. flowing. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, and yeah, oh, toy. And it's you know, like sometimes, if the woman don't get pregnant, mm -hmm. you know, like hard to get pregnant, they go for hilo, they fix some, you know, like where to. But what? You know, like Outs they, they fix from no, no, outside no, inside or? the chan, they hilo something, uh -huh. like position something, you know. I don't know how do you call that. And the next time, they are pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I have friends like that. Yeah. I don't know if it's true, but it works, you know. No. My cousin, she never get pregnant, like, I think 20 years in her life. Is, she's married, then she go to the Hilo because some people advise her. Yeah? And now she have a baby. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, huh? Yeah, 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 you know, no. it's like unbelievable. They're even like a Filipina mm -hmm. with a foreigner husband. Never, cannot, you know, cannot get pregnant. Then she heal up. Then after some time she get pregnant. She get pregnant. Last year she gave birth. To yeah. Oh, cool, December. huh? Yeah. Mga 
pero nagkapaanak ka na eh. Mm-hmm. And, she can, ko. and she can also give birth to, for example, I'm pregnant, she can, you know, like, help ah, yeah. to give like birth. Like a midwife? Yeah, like a midwife. Sometimes, my mother, she used to have like this when she was pregnant. Hilot. Mm-hmm. We call this Hilot. You know, you see in the paper, yeah. there is choices. Midwife, doctor, Hilot. You know? Yeah, but... But uh, Hilot now, I think it's not allowed at home. Yeah. It depends if it's, you know, like, very, you know, like, how you call that? Very far. Mm. And no hospital, hospital close, around. Yeah. So no choice, you know. What's another story? Oh, so, you know, like, the helot for giving birth is not allowed anymore. I know. So I said maybe because, you know, like, you take all the customers. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you know, even like with you, yeah? You like to give birth at home, but you was not allowed. No, not allowed. Mommy! And colleagues was... At home. Yeah. Sa una kong anak, sa bahay ko na anak. Was born at home. So it's turn of magic na. Wait. I will tell you what I know about this street. What do you call it? Traditional Filipino massage. So... Uh, normally, when I was a kid, my mother, when I have like pain or I have fever, my mother take me to Hilot. We call this Hilot. So they do like touching you and they will know where is the pain. Oh, you have pain here. Then they will heal it, heal it like this. <laughs> then the next day, the kid will be better. So we don't normally take the kids right away in the hospital when they have like some pain and the kids you know like normally like Anton mainly they have always fever and when you take them to the helot they said that they have pili pili is like some kind of pain you know like um how do you call this Rebecca? I need your help pain well no you know like when you carry the kids like in the wrong way ah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay for example like in the armpit so, so, something is like dislocated yes correct you're so good so it's something like that. Then they will take the kid to the helot, and the 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 woman will tell you, uh, he got some pili because probably <clears throat> you carry him like in a wrong way. So yeah, like that. And the nana said, uh, she can do like, uh, for example, I'm pregnant. She can help me to give birth. She will help me like that. And she told me like during massage that there was like a woman give birth then the baby is out but the umbilical cord mm. is like in the neck you know like mm-hmm. what do you call that Chibaka? Yeah, like strangle strangle in the neck mm. the, so then the baby is like lifeless lifeless mm. the, buhay na. No, so lifeless then the the womb womb mm. is that womb yeah where the baby live Hey, I don't know. <laughs> In Polish, it's Wojcisko. We call this, I think, Inunan or whatever you call that. But you know, like inside the tummy of the mother, there is like a sock. Sock. So, yeah. Wait. So the baby is there. So the nana said the baby is out, but the womb is still inside the chan or the belly. So what she did, she do like heal up the chan to take out the womb. And there, she did something in the womb to the to to give back the life of the baby, and this is amazing. <laughs> I don't know if I will believe, you know, but she said that she did something in the womb, mm-hmm. you know, like do like this okay, to remove okay. something. Then after a minute, the baby is alive, you know. How I don't know. <laughs> she said like that, and you know, she have like a custom a client, like a doctor. You know, because the. I, what I'm supposed, the baby was just choke little, yeah? Mm-hmm. So there was no oxygen in the in the body, in mm-hmm. the brain. That's why the baby faint during the birth, because it was choked with this umbilical cord. Yeah. So when she squeezed this womb, mm-hmm. she put like fresh blood with oxygen to the brain and to the body. That's what, how I will Interesting. explain this. And sh- yeah, and she said that she have like a customer like a doctor you know like a doctor she, the doctor 
write to her like can you come over at home because i need i have many pain in the body mm -hmm. <laughs> can you do can you massage me you know so yeah you know like a helot is very helpful with us you know especially if you have some pain in the body because they on they're not doing just massage but mm -hmm. they will feel the pain where you have the pain and she will work on that like nana doing now nana very she have a very strong you know hand <laughs> Ama I'm, amazingly yeah, strong i'm too small for this but for matt he's really enjoying because matt always have some body pain you know like during work right no i have many injuries in my have, spine yeah and also in the heart many injuries <laughs> <laughs> so nana is just leaving close to us and the caretaker i think the caretaker is like uh, relatives to her so when nani needs we need nana we just tell the caretaker and she will come on time guys not filipino time huh? this is european time nana <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i will go back to anton that's what i know just i just want to share about my knowledge about this filipino traditional massage but you can say also like they know about the herbs you know yeah they use. know about the herb for example you have i remember like uh, matt he got some boil boil mm -hmm. pizza boil then when we are in secure we have also like nanai like kilot so she advised to me like you should take some gumamela leaf you know like this flower leaf Hibiscus. Hibis. He what? Hibiscus. Hibiscus. Then put on the on the che on the part where you have this boil. Then Matt do this like every day, every day. Yes. It 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 works. I will go back to Anton. Two days and it was gone. Yeah, yeah. And then the price of helot is depends on you guys. So when you say depends, don't pay like five peso, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so be kind to the people because they doing their job and you know it really works to us. So we pay like two hundred fifty per head. That's our maximum payment, right? Right? Yeah, that's what we did on City Hall, you know. <laughs> and for example, in massage here in Dumaguete, you you can have also like two two fifty per hour. hour. Mm. So I think it's fair price you know and then i remember like my father you remember <laughs> my father mm. he got swollen feast yeah yeah he got swollen feast because you know they fight together you know he go to the helo to fix the feast because it's very swollen you know like uh, punching what do you call that babe you know like wall huh he punched the wall no my mother break the feast but what do you call that for boxing? Boxing gloves. It looks like a boxing gloves. But she hit him with something? With no, her. because before my mother and my father fight because because of me. <laughs> <laughs> so my father, you know, like just threat to my mother, like he wanted to punch mother, but it's just a threat. So my mother catch the fist and break it. Ah, okay. So yeah, <laughs> so it gets swollen like for a few days, so they don't talk to each other, and my mother is like laughing at my father, you know. So you know, don't, <laughs> don't, <mess it. laughs> don't dare me, you know. So my mother said to my father, "You better go to the helot so you can fix your feast. So in another fight, you can fight." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you know, like helot is like. I think more good for some people who have like um, pain not like because in massage mm. they will just you know like yeah. massage you like whole body for example you have pain here they will not focus on some pain on your body we, they mm -hmm. will just do their job you know like follow the, the pattern follow the pattern but the nana they will she will tell you like oh you have pain here so she will work more on the this part you know yeah. and she, she she's she's not like counting the time you know, like, oh, what is that? Is it already one hour? No, no, yeah. not like that. So we told Nanai, if you think it's done, then we are, we are good, Nanai. So much, Matt, I think he's really enjoying massage in the Philippines. Do you, sir? I love it. Yeah. So I think, oh. Yeah, yeah, I saw Anton. <laughs>
because our visitor is here i will just en entertain him so we want to share something about because matt have a friend in siki or he's like a shaman he's like hilo though. he's like yeah hilo then matt said that there was like a filipino guy who is diabetic many people he, he, he healed many yeah. diabetic food you know so he it's already the doctors like to cut out cut off can i talk yeah so there was there is like filipinos like who is diabetic there and you know like very wounded food like spoiled oh my god then they go to the hospital and the doctor said this food need to be cut as soon as possible because it's very rotten rotten mm. then the shaman come over to the hospital and told the doctor no you will not touch it you will not do anything with that food food i will do i will you know like help this guy to heal this rotten food so matt said that it 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 works i mean how how it works I me mean, you know he used the herbs he used the herbs and 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 he have like the big he, he always make pictures you know like at the beginning before the, and after yeah, yeah exactly and in the in the middle you know so you can see you can see the progress mm of this rotten food yes and also you know like my friend damian after accident and this uh, he have like big infection he have like a f polish polish friend mm. <laughs> he have like some motor accident yeah accident you know like then very big wounded foot yeah, is it leg, foot leg leg leg, leg. And, want to, and it was like he cannot cannot walk can, cannot walk and he cannot he couldn't walk fix the infection it was huge infection and the doctor also said we need to cut your legs <laughs> yeah. so if you go to the hospital it's always so he was, hopeless you know he was broken you know mentally broken yeah but then he start with the jeffrey yeah and jeffrey healed the leg this is mm. the shaman this is authentic you know like authentic yeah mm. So you know, you know what I noticed, guy. Like every time you, there is like a customer going to the hospital, it's like <laughs> always hopeless. You know, <laughs> we need to cut this like right away. They will not, you know, like try to different medication or something. They will just tell you like, we need to cut this <laughs> right away. <laughs> so yeah, but if you have like Hilo, they will do everything to help you. That's why I think you know if Ow! Kalik's father can meet with Jeffrey you know but it's too late no it's too late now it's too late, no, it's they, too already late. Cut. they already cut the food yeah yeah so yeah that's what, what we wanted to share about this shaman here in the Philippines what they can do how how, how they can treat you like just with the herbs herbs you know like herbs or herbs mm. so don't go to the hospital guys <laughs> Oh, go if you really need to, yeah. But first, you can try the natural. All treatment. natural, no chemical. <laughs> <laughs>